All right, let's jump into this song, right? Tempo 118. Falling into you. Dua comes in right away. Baby, so let's go to Dua. So if I was mixing this song, it sounds like this to me. You could either go to the piano, which is really dope, or you could go into Dua, right? For me, the vocals are the most important thing on this song, so I'm jumping right into Dua. Originally, when I got these, all the vocals are on one track, and like I said earlier, I separate them out, EQ them differently, affect them differently on a track-by-track -track basis, and I don't like everything on one track. I like to separate it all, right? I like to have flexibility when it comes to, especially the vocals. A basic chain for me that I like using for vocals is an EQ, and then an EQ feeding a compressor, and then light multiband, and in this case, I use Soothe. It's a great uh, resonant, pretty much like a resonant compressor. The more you push up, the more frequencies get pushed down. Falling into you. These are all the effective frequencies right here. Even Set the mix really low. I got it on 38. I feel when I'm with you. These kinds of plugins, they're not that cool on 100. You know, sometimes they are, but for vocals, they don't really do that for me. So I always drop the, the mix down. SSL EQ. Not doing a whole lot. 8K, going at little three right there. And usually when I get vocals, unless they're processed a lot, my SSL will go usually right after my Pro Q. My Pro Q is doing like basic filtering and then the SSL is doing broad EQ. I haven't done this on this, um, this plugin, but I like using the compressor open. Didn't do it on this session at all, but even, let me go ahead and duplicate this right here. What I mean by that is the compressor in, my Z setting is basically my ZZZ is like just the basic, it, it drops down to the bottom of the list. So I use Z as my default. And my default is with the compressor in doing very light compression, barely hearing it. And it just kind of lifts up the signal a little bit. No EQ going on, but yeah, that's my SSL preset. And then after all that processing, you might want to do a little bit more EQ. And the Pro-Q2 does a very good job of this. Um, at this point, I am not doing anything more than a D, yeah, 2 dB here. What is this? Yeah, two and a half it looks like, so that's not too bad. Um, so yeah, let's listen to this. Falling into you, baby. Even electricity can't compare to what I feel when I'm with you. When her voice hits certain frequencies, they pop out a lot. So I separate those tracks and I'm doing some multi-band on these frequencies that are bothering me. So real light stuff, but you know, it helps going down the line. Yeah, so like on this pro Q, I like finding the frequencies that bother me on vocals usually between three and a half to four and a half, around there, or two and a half to four and a half. I pull those out. Jump into the compressor, LA-2A. The LA-2A is a great vocal comp uh, compressor to me. I love using it. This makes my vocals, for me, sound nice and even. And the way I set my compressor is, for example, let's go down here to the screwed hook. Pull up your LA two way or dial or patch it in. And the gain is always going to be a little louder um, on a plugin. That's cool because you just get your peak reduction to where you like it. And for me, it's between three and seven on this plugin. And then gain to taste, right? You can really push these if you want, but. I don't like doing that too much, but yeah, that's the way you said LA-2A. It's a great little compressor. So after the, the LA-2A, I like using the C6 um, to shape my vocal uh, EQ-wise. And I use it very light. I'm hitting problem areas in my low frequencies and my high frequencies. For example, frequency that pokes out a little bit on a vocal, um, I'll treat that there. I'll do some light de work with this right here. And then so on and so forth. Like uh, if there's too much low end, I'll shelve it down. And same thing for the mid. I like listening, hearing, thinking of the vocal on just different spectrums and, you know, really dialing in and taking out the frequencies. I'm not doing any boosting with this, this multi-band. I'm doing all subtractive work, getting rid of what I don't like at this point. The Soothe is doing a little bit more of that um, on some of the harsher frequencies. And then, you know, light boosting with this SSL. So yeah. Baby. 
Each track is treated independently. So you'll see me drag down these plugins a lot and I'm not like just copying, pasting things. I'm doing minor different like differences between these, uh, these tracks. Um, so some need a little bit more compression, some need less compression. This C2 on this track is being triggered by my kick. Let me turn my kick on. Yeah, and it's doing some side chaining on this vocal. Which I'm not sure if Mark had that when he sent it to me, but it's on there now. So yeah, Dua's lead is all one track. Separated out. Then I have an acapella. No ceiling, I cannot deny it. Which is dope. Mark already had that side chaining on that part. I didn't do that. I wish I did that because that's one of my favorite parts of the song. Um, it actually went on for a little longer, uh, but we shortened the song up. It went on for a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, I love that part right there. I cannot deny All I see is you. And I originally had a hard uh, reverb drop on that, um, going into that, oh, um, that all I see is you, but Mark wanted the reverb back in, so put it back in, it's, ain't no thing. These are all acapella bounces that they had before, all like, uh, those vocals were given to me as is. Yeah, at this point, it's just all about the blend. The screwed hook came to me. You know, honestly, I just put a lot of stuff on here because it needed it to me. Um, this Arvox was probably on there already. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. You know, just like I'm lazy in the sense that if I want to make another change to the sound, I'll just put another plugin on there and do that. I like using them lately. And then, yeah, backgrounds. What's on here? That was as is. That's mine. And that's mine. My basic vocal, our compressor setting. Let's take a look at it. It's opto, mid attack, mid release. I changed my release depending on the type of vocal it is and you know what kind of part it is. Three and a half, a little bit of makeup gain. If I'm compressing 3 dB on this R compressor, I'm boosting, you know, three quarters of that for some makeup gain. Mm, love those vocals. She sounds so good. Then a uh, Fat Filter de which is a fantastic de -esser. Love these guys. 